Well, praise the Lord, everyone. Good morning, good morning. We welcome everyone again to Everyday Communion with Pastor Raymond. And as always, we encourage everyone, hey, go ahead and get your communion elements on this morning. It's time to take communion, bless God. All right, so our morning reading this morning, we're coming from 1 Corinthians 1 and verse 9. But on this week, we know we're discussing developing your trust in the Lord, all right? We saw yesterday, we said one thing you must do if you're going to avoid burnout in your life in these last days is you must develop your trust in God. Trust in God, hear it, with your whole life, not just certain parts of it, not just at church, my God, not just in your revival, no, in your whole life. God desires to be a part of every part of your life, your marriage, your health, your finances, the raising up of your kids, all your business, whatever you got going on, he needs to be a part of it. My God, all right? Again, not just certain parts, all right? And the parts you try to take care of yourself is the part that's going to burn you out. My God, you need God to help you, all right? So let's go to 1 Corinthians 1, verse 9. It says, God is faithful. This is the Amplified. God is faithful. He's reliable. He's trustworthy. And therefore, ever true to his promise, and he can be depended on, my Lord. By him, you were called into companionship and participation with your son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Okay? Now, listen to me now. If you're going to develop your trust in the Lord, you must know the character of the Lord. Why? Because you're going to always struggle to trust someone you don't know. <laughs> my God, if you don't know him, you you can. It's going to be hard to trust somebody you don't know by God, all right? But here it says that God is here. He's faithful. He's reliable. He's trustworthy. And they're forever true to his promise. And you can depend on him. But here's the thing. You got to know it. All right? So this comes through getting to know him. It comes through spending time with him, learning his character, learning his nature. My Lord, letting him love on you. My God, having experiences with that love. All right? For those who have walked with the Lord for any amount of time, we can all testify that God is faithful, that he is reliable, that he is trustworthy, and you can depend on him, my God. And if you don't know him, my Lord, I encourage you on this morning Get to know him, my Lord. And you will find out that he is fully hit as trustworthy. God is trustworthy. You can place your trust in him and not be disappointed, not be let down, my God. You can depend on the Lord. Amen? Amen. So I encourage you on this morning, get to know him, my God. Spend time with him. Learn his character. Learn his nature. My Lord, experience his love, my God. And you too will find out he's dependable. He's reliable. He's trustworthy, my God. And you can place your trust in him and he will always come through. Amen. Amen. So let's go ahead and take communion on this morning. Father, we love you. We bless you. We praise you. Father, we thank you for this new day and another opportunity you've given unto us to come before your table to commune with you and with one another. And Father, for that, we say thank you this morning. And we love you, Father. We take the bread right now, which represents the body of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus, we do this in remembrance of you. Thank you for all you've done for us. Everything you did, Lord Jesus, was for us. You was made sin for us, that we might be made the righteousness of God. You brought all of our sicknesses, carried all of our diseases, the chastisement for our peace, and our complete holiness was upon you. And with and by your stripes, we were healed. Therefore, we are healed and we're healed right now from the crown of our heads to the soles of our feet. We say thank you, Lord Jesus, for all you've done. We do this in remembrance of you. We discern your body right now. We take the bread. We eat all of it. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We take the cup, the cup of the blessing, the blood of Jesus. Because of your blood, Lord Jesus, we stand before the Father this morning, holy, blameless, the righteousness of God, without fault, without blame and love, all sins forgiven, past, present, future sins forgiven, never to be remembered again, never to be brought up again, never to be discussed again. For that we say thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you for your blood. Thank you for all you've done. We take the cup of the blessing, the blood of Jesus. We drink all of it. 
saying thank you lord thank you lord so i encourage you get to know him that he is reliable my god that he is trustworthy he's faithful he's true to his promise and you can depend on him amen amen so let's get the authority of the believer confessioning on this morning i am in christ jesus i have been given dominion power and authority over the devil and his kingdom I have been raised up by Christ to sit with him in heavenly places far above all principalities and powers. I will use my authority and exercise my dominion on today. I take authority over all demonic activity, over every plot and every plan of the devil. I bind it in the name of Jesus and I decree it will not prosper. It will not come to pass. In Jesus' name, amen, amen. Father, we love you, we bless you, we praise you. Father, we thank you for this new day, all you have in store for each and every one of us, Father. I shout grace, grace to all that is watching right now, Father. I thank you that every need of every household is met in full with abundance and more than enough. For all those who need healing, who need health, who need strength in their bodies, I thank you, Lord Jesus, that you are the Lord our God, the healer of us. And we thank you that you have healed them all in Jesus' name. And we speak peace to every household right now. We bind the spirit of strife and division and, com and confusion. And we lose unity and oneness. Everybody working together, flowing together in the name of Jesus. Hey, God bless you guys. Thank you guys for joining us this morning for Everyday Communion. And we pray each and every one of you have a great day, a blessed day in God's presence. Amen. Amen. Love you guys.